Brand new at 6 o'clock, the return this year of Art Basel to Miami Beach and various other locations around town is big news, especially after the pandemic forced it to cancel last year. The annual event puts us at the center of the art world, draws people from all over the world, and pumps millions of dollars into the economy. CBS 4's Hank Tester takes a closer look. It is the annual apex of the South Florida art scene. Art Basel, the show of shows for international art galleries, high roller collectors, artists, and those that just love seeing great art. We have 254 galleries coming, which is almost as many as we had in 2019. And they're coming from all over the world. COVID killed off the 2020 version of Art Basel Miami Beach. There were rumors, the worry, that the show would be on hold again. And if held because of travel restrictions, European galleries and artists would have difficulty showing up. Well, just in time, the U.S. government announced that vaccinated Europeans can enter the U.S. That beginning November the 8th. Mark Spiegler is the global director of Art Basel. As soon as we heard the news that it was going to happen, everyone got really excited because Art Basel Miami Beach is a show that all of us have missed. Not only did the artists and collectors miss Art Basel, but so did the South Florida tourism economy. It was all but shut down by COVID. And what was lost? The show said to bring in 81,000 people, art worth over $2 billion. Claims are the event brings in over $500 million into the local economy. Numbers, hopefully, that will be the case this year. And now with the European green light, more than 30 galleries who had initially told us, who had told us, I'm sorry, we can't make it because we don't know how we're going to stand in the booths, came to us and said, we want in. Art Basel launched their Switzerland show in September, primarily a European show as Americans could not travel easily. Attendance was down, but much was learned. We proved to ourselves, the art world, that people can buy and sell art perfectly well wearing masks, which is what necessary, which is what's necessary to keep them safe. For the Miami show, which opens December 2nd, all involved, including the general public, will have to be tested or vaccinated. Masks required. Looking forward to Miami with the Swiss show now in the books. It is an amazing thing to see people you haven't seen for a year and a half, for two years, to see art again at scale, you know, to see great artists from all over the world, to see their work. And, and I think people should be excited. I think people should be giddy. We have a lot to look forward to. How close did Art Basel come to being canceled? I'm told they always held out hope, but it was not until they saw the vaccination numbers go up. And they were pretty sure then that this show would go on. And so it is. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS 4 News.